Hello everyone, welcome to Platform 32! I'm back in VR and this time I'm doing the Kingdom Hearts VR experience. Now I'm not a massive Kingdom Hearts fan, in fact I'm probably the opposite of a Kingdom Hearts fan, so I have called on the supreme knowledge of Bendix to help me through <laughs> this Kingdom Hearts experience. Hey Bendix! Hello! Thank Hello. you for letting me on. You're welcome. Now, you are in a different country to what I am. We are se separated by the seas, <laughs> true. by the oceans. So um, you actually can't see what I can see at the moment. So I thought nope. it would be fun for me to try and explain to you what I am seeing in the Kingdom Hearts VR experience <laughs> and for you to try and tell me via what I'm telling you, what I'm seeing, because I don't think I'm going to have a clue what the hell's going on. Oh, God. Is, is this actually going to just be straight up chaos? You know that, right? That's what I'm hoping for, Bendix. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Me plus you equals ultimate chaos. Yeah, and a I'm test hoping. of friendship, I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, how much will you be able to handle me, I'll, Babylon, about Kingdom Hearts? I will try very hard not to insult Kingdom Hearts in front of you as oh, well. Oh, no, no, you definitely can. Go ahead. Yeah? Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Well, as long as I don't incur your wrath too much. Oh, no, I'm just afraid that I'm going to explode your brain. <laughs> well, um... You can explode my brain <laughs> as much as you want if it helps us get through this experience. This okay, is a good. VR kingdom. This is a VR experience preview. It it says on here. I don't know what that means. A but, preview. Um, yeah. At the moment, I'm kind of floating in midair, and I'm surrounded by these kind of like light blue Mickey Mouse icons and hearts and stars, and then the words. Uh. The words Disney, Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts, VR Experience are floating in front of me. And the word start is there. So, uh, <laughs> Well, I, I suggest I you that? click it. Okay. What did you think of the new Kingdom Hearts, by the way? Did you enjoy it? You were looking forward to it for ages. Uh, I'm like 50-50. Yeah? Like, it, it did what it was supposed to do with the ending, but everything up until the ending was mildly disappointing. Oh, yeah, a, bit, but, a bit of a case yeah. of you looking forward to it too much maybe mm, over no. it. No? I wouldn't say so I think it's straight up just like even just comparing to Kingdom Hearts 2 just the gameplay is oh. worse but then the help. moment that the ending comes it goes straight back to how you used to play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 ah. so it's quite clear where the focus was yeah oh fair enough but it was I've... still a satisfying ending it made sense well, all I know about Kingdom Hearts is that video you made about Ex Anahort and uh, and shadows and Ex Anahort, Son of Hanahort and Son of Hanahar, yeah, and Goofy. That one. Yeah, and Goofy, good. Yeah. <laughs> You're remembering all the good stuff. Exactly. What is it? Is it others? No, another's no. Sh no. You're you're so close. You're it's so close. Other any bodies? Other bodies? No, no. Body bodies. It starts with an N. No bodies. Yes. What yeah. Do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> and with tears in his eyes, he presses start. <laughs> Here we go. Right, everything's gone white. Oh. And a, a little glittery noise appeared in my like. Whoosh, oh. It's, it's all very white still at the moment. You are dead. No. I think maybe. Well, <laughs> as long as it's not red, and I've gone to oh, hell. Yeah. White's probably. Oh, hello. Okay, the words. Gummy ship have appeared in front of me. Oh yes, and now that is your um, like form of transportation. Yeah, well, there's a jolly tune playing, and uh, I am now piloting the gummy ship. I have a <gasps> steering wheel in front of me. Um, I oh, uh, so Donald Duck's behind me. Mm -hmm. Um, and to my right is Goofy. Yeah, I, th I think I am Sora. I can't tell. No, yes. You're Sora. Has he got, has he got brown hair and like yeah, yeah, yeah. black clothes on with like yellow trim? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Sora and I'm flying in this spaceship and he's getting a, a little bit angry. Oh, <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, <laughs> four years or so. Yeah, about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, you know, I'm only 20, uh, 21 birthday recently. Is that... 16 plus 4? <laughs> Wait, what? No, uh, five years ago. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I have no, no idea what's way. going on at the moment, though. I'm just kind of sat in this in this gummy ship interior. The steering wheel's massive. I don't know how you're supposed to steer with that accurately. But we're going on an important adventure, according to Goofy. <laughs> I was about to say something very wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> 
He's... <laughs> No, don't go there. Don't. Someone's just, I think Sora just said, may my heart be my guiding key. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what all the key bearers say. Oh, okay. Oh, there's That's a key in front of me. And um, it's, um, so there's a disembodied key floating around in front of me. I think this is the key blade. A key what? A key blade, is it? Is that what a key called? blade, yes. What did you think I said? A keyboid. I was like, <laughs> what? A keyboid. <laughs> you just left out the L. <laughs> Keybait. Right, I've Key gone for a warp now, and now there's incredible... Mi oh, my God. Okay. So now I'm inside this tunnel of video screens. There are mm. scenes from Disney movies everywhere. There's Goofy. Um, I think I saw a teapot from Beauty and the Beast. There's mm. more... There's... Is that Final Fantasy? Yep. I think I just saw Final Fantasy. There's Daffy Duck. No, not Daffy Duck. Yeah. No, what? not Daisy? Donald. Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This, I'm getting, like, ultra Disney um, in my face from all angles, from ear yeah. and visuals. So uh, that's, like, all the worlds you visited before. Right. And I think they're trying to summarize everything that's happened in the previous games before you start playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, that's basically what happens at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3. There's all these yeah. screens surrounding you. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're basically pouring Disney into every hole in my face at the moment. <laughs> I'm too <just> happy. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm a little bit scared. I Is mean, I would too. Yawning? That uh, corporation is like, oh, capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a crocodile from, I think that was from Peter Pan. Oh, and yeah, yeah. The, that's from Kingdom yeah. Hearts 1. Ah, and there's um, a, a Jiminy Cricket I saw a second ago. This yes. Tunnel's just going on for ages, so I think I might be trapped here forever. That looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I mean, there are like nine games you have to get through, so maybe oh that tunnel God. will just go on forever. Yeah, it's going on for a while. There's no end in sight. There's one of the dwarfs from Snow White. Mm -hmm. The music's not exactly pumping. Oh, no, it's ejected me out. It's gone a bit Star Wars with some, like, stars flying past, and now it's gone white again. I'm dead again, Bendix. <laughs> I saw Disney and I went and to then heaven. Now you're dead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you, you can definitely help me with this bit. Okay. It says, um, select the world you want to ex. Oh, hold on. So it says, select uh -huh. the world you want to experience. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, like, I guess I've done Gummy Ship, which was just sitting in a ship and going down that tunnel. The only other okay. world I can choose is Destiny Island. <gasps> Go for it. Click okay, it, click cool. it. Because the other says more worlds coming soon. So I guess they're going to keep updating it. But yeah. Oh. So the only place we can go is Destiny Islands. Here we go. I pressed X. Mm. Oh, oh, holiday music. I'm now stood on the shore of Destiny Islands. It's sunset. Oh. There's uh, some palm trees. I want to experience that. Oh, no. Where am I now? Oh, oh. So on my left is a young girl with like a bob haircut, white vest purple yeah it looks reddish it's it's kind of we'll the sun is making here. every the sunset's making everything well, red but she okay. looks quite young pink pinkish purplish dress who knows uh, she sat next to me and then there's a dude with long to, kind of silverish hair blue trousers yeah. That's Riku and Kairi. Kairi is the girl, and yeah. Riku is the boy. That's okay. uh, Sora's best Riku. friends. That's your best friends, right? Ah, now. well, yeah, I'm sat up here as well. Oh, We're just checking out the sunshine. Really are you e sitting on a tree? Yes, we are sitting on a tree. <laughs> <laughs> is this a part of a game? Is it? Yeah, it's it's a, an important tree because you're sitting on a paupu uh, fruit tree. So right. a paupu fruit is like if you <gasps> share it with someone, you share destinies. So basically, you're intertwined forever. The fruits look like stars. Yes. Yeah, so that's it's, exactly where I'm sat. It's like an important um, allegory throughout the game right? that they make little stars for each other to connect their hearts. Oh, so that's sweet. So if they sweet. get lost across the world, they that's can always why we find need each to go other. Out there and oh. find out. That's cool. I've got very big <laughs> shoes. You know what they say about guys with big shoes, don't you? Big socks. Good. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> good save. Good save, Ian. <laughs> yes, you, you handle it well. <laughs> so, Ki Kira, is it? I probably Kira? Never Kira? Oh, Kairi. Kairi and... Kairi? Riku. Thanks. Riku. Riku's having a, a bit of a serious conversation now. He wants to go somewhere. Oh, it's fading to black. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. oh, no, there's stars flying around now. 
Oh. Uh, they've kind of collided in the middle and made like a firework that's falling into the sea. Uh, and oh. then there's a big whirlpool in the sea, and I can see Mickey Mouse from Fantasia doing oh, stuff in the nice. sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many met metaphors in this game. Like, yeah. the sea and the stars and all that. It's all just about the world and how ever expanding it is and stuff oh. like that. Okay. Well, yeah, this is. Th it's gone into some kind of like crazy Disney light show above the sea and where me and my Kyrie and Rico we're, we're just chilling out and enjoying it I think is what's going on here I really want to experience it They're like Destiny Islands is amazing it's like the first island you start with and it's right. constantly like brought up again because it's so important for every single character in the game ah. ooh uh, yeah so we're still sat on this beach if I look behind me I can see Destiny Islands a bit more but now there's like illustrations of Destiny Islands um, and perhaps footage from... The, do they go to Destiny Islands in King, the New Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, uh, yeah. at the okay, end yeah. they do and midway, ah. yeah, so like, at the very end, like the entire end sequence they do, yeah. when they ah. save a girl called Aqua, they end up there okay. and then there's a party at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 at that <laughs> beach as well. <laughs> All right, well, I think that we just saw a bit of that, and then there's more flashes of gameplay. I think I saw Extra Anahort, or whatever his name is. <laughs> See ya not. See <laughs> <laughs> that one. Do you mean the bald guy? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, Kyrie that's just turned blonde? Oh, that's uh, Namine. Oh. That's her nobody. Uh, oh, God. That's getting confusing now. <laughs> now it's getting complicated. Yeah. Oh, there's three dudes on a... Oh god, so much is had so much visual stimuli is entering my brain. I cannot comprehend. There's a guy with big red spiky hair and fire That's in Axel. the background. Axel, okay. yeah. Looks like he's about to have a fight with a dude with a keyblade. Yeah, yeah, that's Roxas. Oh, he okay. is Sora's nobody. Right. And then there's now there's a guy with black and white clothes on. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> uh. Maybe that was Simness? Maybe. He's got like a lightsaber coming out of the palm yeah, of his yeah. hand. That is Simness. Okay, he so is big the bad. nobody of Xehanort's Xehanort. Xehanort. Oh, there's a guy, bald guy with a beard now. Yeah, that's Xehanort. Oh, all right. And now Mickey Mouse has appeared. He seems to be fighting Xehanort. Mickey is just Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> just Mickey. Has he got a nobody? No, no, no. He's just Mickey. Okay, He's just the, He's the king, though. Yeah, oh, okay. fair enough. Is everything making sense? <laughs> you need a. Mm. There should be like a pop quiz at the end of this. What they need? To, <laughs> bloody hell! I'd never get any of it right. Oh, the stars on the sea now. That's pretty. Mm. This is basically. I think this is basically just condensing the entire of the game into like 30 seconds. Yeah. And pumping into my brain holes. Bah, oh, fireworks and stuff. Is there music as well? There is music, very kind of orchestral, like da na, wa na 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 na, kind of stuff. <laughs> and now it's gone I white. I wonder if it's just literally the opening sequence you're seeing right now, because that's like it at every single be. game, basically, there's a music video explaining everything that happened before. Oh right, okay, that could be it. But we, ooh, oh, oh, hold on, there was something. So I appeared on top wow. of Twilight Town for a that second, Ooh. but then it's it's faded to black, and now I see some I characters see talking about mm. sunsets from the top the of. They're sat on the top of a tower. What did they look like? Oh, it says coming soon. They were all wearing black clothes and they had spiky hair and it looked like it was two <laughs> guys and a girl. <laughs> <I don't really laughs> they all had that. spiky hair. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That could be Was... anyone, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Uh, was one of them blonde, one of them red, and one of them black hair? I think so, yes. Yeah. It, it was all very quick, but yeah, I think so. Do they hang because around in that town on top they of the do. clock tower? Yep, yep, yep. It was it was them's then. And um because... Yeah. Oh so I was just gonna say and that's it. We're back to I'm back to the thing. I'm back to the the choice of yep. either gummy ship or destiny islands and Really? That's it? Then. Yeah, it so it does say more worlds coming soon, so I guess that Tower <laughs> Town, whatever the hell it was, will come at some point. But I was kind of hoping that you'd be able to walk through the towns or something. Yeah, no, it was very, very um, 
the the interaction was very limited. I could just sit there and kind of watch things happen rather than interact or mm. move around, which is a bit bit disappointing. I did want to do a little bit of a walk around, maybe like use the the move controllers to wave a keyblade around or something. That'd yeah, cool, yeah. It was definitely more. I think it was what you said, just like a way to watch the intro cinematics in VR. But it's just rubbish because then I don't know how expensive it is or anything, but just literally having an experience that is maybe 10 minutes long, it's just yeah. doesn't really seem worth it to me. It doesn't, no. It, well, you'll be happy to know it was free, but yeah, oh, okay. it, it was a little bit underwhelming, I've got to say. Um, mm. I was hoping for a bit more. Maybe someone who knows what's going on and appreciates the game and isn't talking shit over the top of it would you know get more out of it <laughs> but um, i mean i don't even know. think i would if i put on a vr headset i would imagine that i would be allowed to walk around in the world yeah. especially because right now in like in the kingdom Hearts 3 they are so beautiful they're very small though and very mm. constrained uh, yeah. but they are really beautiful so it well, just feels weird yeah, I don't think there's any of that though. It's just sitting down and having a lovely time with your virtual friends, <laughs> chatting about you know bodies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Goofy. How are you enjoying being in Kingdom Hearts? And he'll be like, Oh, I'm in Kingdom Hearts. He'll be I'm like, Kill me now. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. Didn't he die in a Kingdom Hearts game? Yeah, in Kingdom Hearts too. But he's he gets a rock smashed into his face and everyone's oh like, oh no, he's dead. And they leave him and then he comes back later. He's like, no, I'm actually fine. Thanks for leaving me. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of facial reconstructive surgery and I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. Well, um, yeah, I don't know. Kingdom Hearts VR experience, a little bit over underwhelming, but uh, it's free. So if you like VR games, it's maybe worth trying but probably not if you're Ooh, really desperate for vr <laughs> games then maybe <laughs> yeah indeed well thank you very much bendix for guiding me through this uh, beautiful trip down kingdom hearts memory lane it's been wonderful you're welcome <laughs> if you uh, if you've enjoyed hearing bendix's voice in your ears and through your pc screens and all that stuff i'm uh, sorry you can check out her channel which i've linked to in the description um and uh yeah, do like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what would your nobody be called, Bendix? I think it would just be called Bendix because I already have an X in my name. Oh, so what? So I'd have to be Ian X. Or, or like, like Cyan or something. Cyan. Oh, Cyan's cool. Yeah, that would that right. actually sound pretty cool. I think maybe a nobody is already in the game, just with a different name. Like Luxord kind of looks like you, but cooler <laughs> and blonde. <laughs> right, I'm off to Google that now. Cooler and blonde? How dare you. <laughs> Nothing cooler than a ginger beard, young lady. Uh, that's debatable. Oh, bye! <laughs> <laughs>